nothing but a war inside you. The truth is. The same thing that happened to you happened to me. We could make that right. The world needs to see the truth. Hey everybody, we got some new Punisher to break down. This is just hyping up episode one and all the craziness. So if you don't remember, Punisher is dropping next Friday along with the Justice League movie. I just posted my Justice League reaction video. I'm not allowed to do reviews for that yet, but there's this sort of spectrum of light tone to really serious to hardcore stuff happening between Thor Ragnarok, Justice League, the Punisher, and then obviously Star Wars in a couple weeks too. So if you like the way they treated the Thor character, but you're looking for some more hardcore Marvel, this is really the answer to that. You don't get more hardcore than the Punisher. I was actually just making a Deathstroke video for Arrow that I'll link at the end of this. I should probably do a video comparing the Punisher to Deathstroke once the episodes start dropping because they do have a lot of similarities, but I think the difference with the Punisher from Deathstroke is, is that he's a little more torn up inside. He's still driven by a lot of the pain that he feels in losing his family. And the Punisher, when he picks up in this series, is still pretty fresh in that he's trying to take down the men that killed his family, but gets wrapped up in this larger conspiracy plot with Micro because of all the stuff that Rollins is doing and all the evils that he's perpetrating behind the mask of the CIA and patriotism. There isn't any kind of crazy embargo or anything like that on reviews, so my non-spoilery review of the first couple of episodes will post sometime early next week. But as you would expect, John Bernthal just wholly embodies the character. He's an amazing version of the Punisher. So that's probably the best thing about the series. Like just John Bernthal for 13 hours, just being a total badass. But I know a lot of you are also asking about the future of the Marvel Netflix shows because of this supposed Disney streaming service. So that's completely unrelated to the plot and the story of what's going on with the Defenders and all their different series. Daredevil season three is still happening. In fact, the Kingpin just went to set saying that he was going to start reading the first couple of scripts. I'm sure the first couple of pages of that is him just beating the shit out of Matt for 50 minutes. Like if you haven't read Daredevil Born Again, that's kind of the story they're adapting for Daredevil season three. It is a big Kingpin arc. So if you're a big fan of that character, he gets some really cool moments. But I think if there is a Netflix series that people are looking forward to, that's the one. Daredevil is still like the A-list character inside the Defenders, even though Jessica Jones and Luke Cage got a little more attention because they were so different from traditional superhero shows. But looking a little bit further out, what might end up happening is, is that Marvel does a couple more seasons of each of these Netflix shows, and then they just stop their arrangement with Netflix and produce them for the Disney streaming service. So all the new shows that Marvel is developing, it's considering for the Disney streaming service, but anything that was already on Netflix, like Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, Punisher, that's going to stay on Netflix indefinitely because Netflix co-owns the series with Marvel. Now, if Marvel produces something by itself, then it can pull it off. So the only thing that Netflix might end up losing in the next couple of years is all the Marvel movies, the Disney movies, that means Pixar, Star Wars, that kind of stuff. 
So don't worry about them canceling Daredevil or Jessica Jones or anything like that. The series are still doing really well as long as Netflix continues to be a good partner and Marvel enjoys the relationship. They'll keep making it. I'm expecting at least like five seasons of Daredevil. They've got like five seasons of most of their original series. I know there's all the drama with House of Cards and the Kevin Spacey stuff. That has nothing to do with Netflix wanting or not wanting to renew series. There's no real ticking clock on these Marvel Netflix shows. I think the biggest thing is in them just finding the right story to tell and finding the right team to do that story. Iron Fist is probably the best example of that. So you guys can let me know in the comments what you want them to do with the Punisher character. But I don't put any stock in the rumors that they're trying to bury Punisher because of all the real world gun violence that's been happening the last couple of months. I think they just wanted to release it around this time of the year because people are getting ready for the holidays and they tend to binge watch stuff more. So they just want to get the largest possible audience. They're actually supposed to start shooting Iron Fist Season 2 early in December. And like I said, last week, Kingpin was going to the set of Daredevil Season 3 to start doing his script. So they're well into production on Daredevil Season 3. So I'm expecting that to drop around this time next year. They've already finished Jessica Jones Season 2 and Luke Cage Season 2. So those will probably drop earlier in the year next year. But no official dates for anything like that. When they do announce that, I'll do an update video, but there'll be a whole bunch of stuff happening this Christmas between the comic book movies and the comic book TV shows. So just make sure you click that bell to enable alerts so you don't miss any of the videos and you guys will catch it all. But for those of you asking about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and the other Marvel TV stuff, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. actually starts airing episodes at the beginning of December because Inhumans just aired their finale. But I'm still doing a movie ticket giveaway. You can use them for whatever you want. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. Congratulations to the winner from the last video, Blue Werewolf. Please private message me so I can get your contact details. You can click here for my non-spoilery Justice League reaction. And you can click here for all my Thor Ragnarok Easter eggs. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.